Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Will here, and uh, got a question for you. What do you think the diameter or the size of the Earth is? Now, here's why I ask, right? Um, here's the picture of a globe. So they say our globe. Now, the only information that we have, the only facts that we have about the si <laughs> supposed facts, right? Facts that we have about the size of our Earth is what we're told. We're told the diameter is about 1,000. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 8,000 uh, miles, right? Across. So that's equator to equator, kind of. Like, if you look at the equator, it's 8,000 miles across. And it's 8,000 miles straight through from pole to pole. Now, my question is this, is how does that translate to flat earth map? Does that mean from pole to pole? So it would be from pole to edge? Is that 8,000 miles? Because that's the distance that it would span. Well, I mean... So we're dealing with a flat and a curve. So it's very difficult to compare these apples to apples. Because the distance that I'm asking from the center to the edge wouldn't actually be all the way through the globe. It would be around the outside, traveling around the outside. But is there a parallel that we can make somehow for this 8,000? Would it be accurate to go from equator to equator? Straight through on the sides? So if we say this equator and this equator, then from here to here, would that be 8,000 miles? I don't know. I don't know that there is a... Um, I don't know that there is an answer to this one. Because I'm not quite sure that our... Um, I'm not quite sure that our measurements are exactly the same. Perhaps what is needed and what I'll look at next is looking at the scales of the lines of latitude and longitude because they are different on the two models and what each represent where on the globe is the latitude and longitude the most normal meaning where can we uh, apply an attribute of okay here the latitude and longitude is about this many miles or this and that and then if we could take that, possibly we can look and uh, look at the expanding size and try to determine something. Now, one thing interesting, guys, you have to understand. Just look up the actual size of Africa. If you look on the flat map, Africa is absolutely huge, right? On world map... Not so much. I mean, granted, we don't see Africa here, but it's just not as big on a globe as it is supposed to be in life. I mean, it, it just doesn't seem to be accurately represented. Possibly, is it because of the its positioning? Uh, being in generally the southern, the southern hemisphere. Well... That's a great question because if there is a discrepancy, if there are discrepancies to anything, uh, whether it be land mass, land flights, travel, latitude, longitude, scale, if there's discrepancies on a globe because something's in the southern hemisphere, so it's a wrong scale or something, then that points us to... The scale on the globe of the southern hemisphere is not correct. So perhaps the globe model, sorry, the flat model scale is more correct because all of this southern hemisphere has to be 
compacted down greatly to fit at the bottom. I mean, you have to understand, if we're talking about a globe, then these, look, you can look here. One, two, three, four. These four, which encompasses all of the United States, except maybe, look, Florida. These four are like one, two, three, four. All this four land area down here. Look at, look at the size difference and the amount that they would have to be squeezed down to fit them in that polar region. So the question is, we need to look at scale. We need to look at accuracy of latitude and longitude and scale and see if we can find anything out about the size of Australia, the size of Hawaii, uh, sorry, Australia, Africa, and South America versus the size of North America. Compare those uh, scaled sizes for flat earth. Compare them scaled sizes for globe earth model and see which is more correct. I believe if we look for clues that are land versus scale versus map, that can tell us which of the maps is closer to the actual scale. So it's just some thought process. Maybe you guys can help me with this. Uh, trying to get an accurate representation of scale on this map. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, hope you have some great things to add. Um, I look forward to seeing what you're saying. Experiment for yourself. Try to find out. And no, the answers are not in space. I believe the answers are on from this world, on our physical world. And if you look anywhere else, you're looking to be deceived. William out. Take care. Peace.